Greetings, Odella family. My name is Matt Patron, and I've been asked to create a quick video that shows you as a parent or guardian how you can sign in at Odella and check your students' progress and check some other really cool things so you can make sure that your student is on track and doing what they're supposed to do in the Odella system. So let's start out from the beginning. Uh, what we're going to do first is go to google.com. So I'm going to open up my internet browser and if you see here I'm typing in www.google.com. Okay. Now I know that I'm signed in as me because I see this little picture of me in the upper right hand corner. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to sign out to show you that you should be signing out of your personal account before you're signing in with your Odella account. So what I'm gonna do here, see how I'm signed in with my work email and password. So I'm gonna actually sign out. Okay. And now what you see up here is in the upper right hand corner, it's asking me to sign in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click sign in. And I've actually already kind of entered this test parent email here. So I'm going to actually select that account. And you'll see up here it says PS parent one at dellastudent.com. So this is a test parent uh, email that I'm using. And now I'm going to enter the test parent password. Now remember when you're entering the password and the username they are case sensitive which means that you do have to use capitals or lowercase letters if your username and password indicates that those letters are used that way so i do have it incorrectly here and what i'm going to click now is next okay so now what you see in the upper right hand corner is a t here which stands for test parent so if I click on it here, it shows that I am successfully now logged in as the test parent. And I could sign back in on my personal one if I wanted to, and I can sign out. So those are some very quick steps on how you sign in to Google with your Odella parent username and password. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to look at Canvas in the next part of this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of this parent portal video series that we're putting together here. And for this second part now, we're going to look at signing into Canvas. So if you've heard anybody talk about Canvas, it uses a single sign-on feature, which is why we actually signed into Google first, because now Google's gonna talk to Canvas to make sure that uh, we're signing into the correct account there. So what I'm going to do next is, is you'll see here, I'm still on Google. I'm still signed in with my test parent account, as we can see indicated by this little window over here. And I'm going to start typing. And since I've already typed it in before, it pops up. But the address I'm typing in is your school online. That's all one word dot instructure.com so your school online dot instructure dot com and if you'll notice this is the same uh, link that when your student starts and we start sending out all those onboarding communications that's the site link that's on those forms as well so remember your school online dot instructure dot com so once I enter that in up top and I click enter, it's actually going to open up a Canvas page here. So I'm on the dashboard for my student. So I see that by all the announcements that are up top here. And if I keep scrolling down, you're gonna see the classes down there at the bottom. But what I want you to see next is on the left hand side here, you see dashboard, you see courses, calendar, inbox, history, mastery, and help. 
To access the parent portal, what I can do is I can click on the help button, which is the question mark at the very bottom here. And my live chat's kind of covering it up a little bit. So let's see if I can, that's as far down as I can scroll. So I'm gonna click on this help button. And what I want you to see next is I have some options that I can select. I have help, site, I have student support help ticket, and I have SIS parent portal. That's actually what I'm going to click to go into the parent portal. So we'll explore the parent portal in part three of this video. Hello again, everybody, and thanks for joining me for the last part of this video. So what we're going to talk about last now is actually getting into the parent portal and seeing what that looks like for you as you view your student. So what I'm going to do is click on SIS Parent Portal. And once again, this is if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of this blue bar, the help button. So I'm going to click SIS Parent Portal. Okay, so I clicked on the parent portal. And now what you see is your student name up at the top. You see where it says grades and attendance and it says the student name, which I've actually grayed out so you can't see uh, the student I'm currently viewing. Now what you see is on the left hand side of the page, you see grades and attendance, which is the tab that we're currently looking at. Then you see attendance history, school information, course dashboard, and help ticket. So what we should see when we click on grade history are the grades that your student has in the class currently. So if you take a look over here, you see the grade and the percentages. Another feature we can look at is the attendance history. And this one is very important. So let's take a look at attendance history and I can go about explaining what some of this means. So we do address this a little bit in the orientation, but I want you to understand that this shows the time that a student is absent and hours and minutes. So notice the attendance code that's assigned to it is a UN4, which means unexcused for four or less hours. So that means that a student did not hit the full five hours for that specific day. Now, um, here you'll see unexcused for two, which means that the student missed about two hours of school for that day. Um, if you ever see a U, that is unexcused, meaning that the student did miss the full five hours for that school day. And if you see a P, that means the student was present for the full school day. So these UN4, UN3, UN2, UN1 means unexcused for one, two, three, or four hours. And then if there's a P on here, it means present for the full day. And if there's a U again, that means unexcused. So that's how you actually read this attendance uh, as you go through on the attendance history. Also, what you can look at is your student's dashboard. So if I click on the course dashboard here for a student, that'll actually take me back to that first page that we were looking at when we logged in. And notice here, I can see my student's dashboard of classes and all the announcements that they have at the top of the page.